simple space that is also much much better than OA. So this is not both is not equal. So the complete cannot be done. Then it was recursive missing parsing, that is one compound parsing. LLP in is a look ahead. Actually, instead of A, we go for LL1. But that's the very small set of grammar. LL1 grammar would be like this. This is LL1 grammar. So we can have a less option. And but fortunately, the bottom of parsing, we get a bigger grammar set. So LR1, LR1. And somebody may ask, what is LRP number? LRP number is nothing but bottom of parsing with K in K. LRP would be size of the little bit. K will suffer. So instead of K, we will go for 1. So LRP is the most general purpose of programming language it is called. Okay. So this is, we will come now our own logic. This comes from complexity analysis of a problem. So this is the complexity graph and here this is push for problem O1, OA if you want to find the maximum in the array, complexity O is the number of elements, OA square we know the bubbles or insertions of complexity OA square, OA is the matrix multiplication of certain and this is another O to the power problem with tower of error problem. Because if you have many number of bits, the number of states with the O is minus 1. Then for the traveling sensible problem, try to find the shortest route. So then it will be approximately so factorial to the power, much more. So any problem in O A N square and Q, we call them the polynomial problem. We call this polynomial. Another term is polynomial. We call it polynomial. Because we can find it out easy. Easy problem, polynomial problem, factors problems are all same. Now, after this, we will go to the harder problem. And we go to the extreme end, there are some unsolvable problems, no algorithm is still down there. Lots of algorithm, lots of unsolvable problems will be multiplied. But there is an interesting range of problem. We call this as a complete problem. What is the interesting case of the problem? There are around 3,000 problems in there. It actually is a straight line. Then we come. Actually, this is a straight line. There are around 3,000. Oh, I asked you, any property problems are there. What is any property problem? Any property problem is the solution is very, very, very difficult to get it. But if you give a solution, it can easily check the problem. Right? right? No, so, if you find a solution, to try to get the problem, solution is difficult. But once the answer is given, Checking is done by linearly or very easily or polynomial. That is called the entry complete problem. The entry complete problem will come again and again if you go for here, it's a context sensitive problem. If you go to the context sensitive problem here, how to go into the context sensitive problem? Context sensitive problem is always the simple to be equivalent, equivalence, equivalent, 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 the context sensitive CSG. The parsing is going to go for an empty problem. Empty problem. Empty problem. So, context sensitive grammar will never be used in programming because it is parsing is empty problem. Empty problem is very difficult to get. It is more tougher, one of the toughest problems. So, in programming language, you always use deterministic context sensitive grammar. Sometimes, OAQ, one or two sentences it can be allowed, but we try to take it away. How to take it away? We can manipulate the grammar to make the grammar much more minim minimalized so that we can take it in LL1 grammar, LL1 grammar comes here, LL1 black one and LL1 bigger. So there it 
Yeah. 